Hi, welcome to MacBooks, and this is my first layout update video. Uh, obviously, I'm starting a new layout, so this is what it's looking like right now. We've got six 48 by 48 base plates and a 2 by 3 arrangement. I had one of these, and I bought five of them for 35 bucks on eBay, which is an amazing deal because it's basically half price for every single one. So let's go into what we have here first. So it's a loop of R40 with three straight in between the halves, one curved passing siding, those are gonna have curved switches right there and there, and then this is going to go right into the shop, which I'll talk about later. So I plan to get all the track ballasted, and I'll be using the dark brown ties, um, using tiles from uh, Bricklink, and then the one by one tiles from Life Lights. So, Here's some stuff that's going to be on the layout. We have a steam locomotive boiler and some stands. Put that somewhere. And then here's the shop. I had to spend a couple hours yesterday rebuilding the walls so that this could hold this whole thing could just split in half like that. So it would line up with the base plates. So now we just put these tiles up here like that. And then take this large 8x16 tile. And it fits down, locks it in place, and then we put the crane in here, it sits just like that, you can slide it back, Oops. there we go, and then we'll take the roof and fit it on here, just like that. Then over here, we have a little bit of um, what I'm planning to have on the layout got some construction workers a truck and some wood pallets and this is an R40 switch that I cut what's going to happen is once the, all of the base plates are connected it's going to look like this so continuous curve all the way into the shop one more thing I forgot to mention is the two stud gap right here, I'll be getting the two stud rails from Trix Bricks. The reason I need to do this is because steam locomotives have a bit of overhang and the shop is so close to the curve right here, the rods would hit the shop going around the corner so I needed to move it back two studs which gives a little bit more clearance and then I should be able to run all the steam locomotives that are afford compatible on this layout. So that's all I've got for this update. Um, let me know if you have any ideas. I do still need a theme for the layout and some ideas for scenery in the corner of the curves. So if you have any ideas, be sure to put those in the comments. Um, like this video if you enjoyed, I would appreciate that. And I'll see you next time.